Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play series and welcome to the world of Monster Hunter Stories 2. So initially, my channel did do Monster Hunter Stories 1, um, which was on the 3DS back in the day. If you guys went to search for the video, you can see that the recording of gameplay back then was a lot more different and I didn't exactly finish Mon Hunt Stories 1 um, mainly because well work and of course recording the game with a camera on my phone with horrible lighting and all this isn't exactly getting much views not that my videos are getting any better views now but still I'm here to enjoy the world of Mon Han stories. I have always been captivated with this style of storytelling um, in the regular RPG way. So let's dive into the world of the Monster Hunter story series and let's see how our main characters have been doing after a few years since the first game. Alright, so we're gonna go to make our character. As usual, I'll go with the lady because why would I want to stare at a guy all day? <laughs> I mean, uh, in the past, guys play as male characters, but sooner or later, you know, guys started to use female characters. You just, you just realize why would I want to stare at a male character the whole time when I'm playing the game? So. I'm not gonna go too much in detail. Oh my goodness, they have Messer's hairstyle. <laughs> I don't know. Let's do a quick um, build of the characters, maybe. Oh, I, I can do Rin from Yurukem. Oh, that's pretty cute. <laughs> maybe I'll do that. I'll go with Rin from Yurukem. Okay, so I did a simple edit with the character. So this is my Rin design, I just changed the eye colour, of course the hairstyle is the iconic bun at the top. Um, they couldn't really change the skin colour to a much paler tone. So the female character's real name is actually Leia, so of course the name I had to change to Rin. So yeah, let's go with this. I hope this doesn't get me copyright strike. <laughs> You can tell I went with the Japanese voice acting as usual.
よかった生きていてくれて Moment there, I thought it was a Radian. Didn't realize it was Moss on the Rattle Loss. <laughs> the egg design reminds of Digimon. How you build up a villain plotline? <laughs> Killing the father in front of the son. Oh gosh. Pretty exciting opening sequence, um, but it feels like the usual Japanese style of storytelling, where you know um, your enemies become friends <laughs> in the future. <laughs> That's how I feel. It feels like uh, currently, as you can tell, um, the graphics isn't fantastic. なぜ俺たち<笑> ここはライダーの島だ。あまりレウスに武器を向けるなんて許されることではない。うーん。うーん。レウスを聖なるモンスターと ハンターとライダー、お互い仲良くなりたかったからじゃない。ケイナの言う通りだ。子供たちも聞いている。冷静になれ。はい、ガラ様。それじゃ、ハンターさんの話を聞きましょうか。<笑>
危険なレウスって言ってましたけどどういうこと情報が入ったんだこの島に破滅の翼を持つ危険なレウスが生息していると破滅の翼ああそのレウスが羽ばたくとき世界は滅びると言われている<笑>ガラ様破滅の翼だなんて聞いたことがありません破滅の翼かそれはリオレウスにまつわる伝説だ古の時代この地に世界を破滅に追いやったレウスがいたというででもそれは伝説なんですよねではあるがな今我らがすべきことは異常事態が発生した原因を突き止めることだそうですねなんで海の色が変わったのかあの光は何だったのかレウスはどこへ行ってしまったのかわからないことだらけです調査隊を組み周辺の調査に当たろうはい So yeah, as you can tell, the graphics is a bit choppy. It feels like it's still a 3DS game, <laughs> but just that it's ported on the Switch. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. What is nice to have at least the、um, conversation still being. Voice acted with. Mamori Reus no Kotonga Kininarendana. Ah, so you got to Mamori Reus were Redo no Tomon that the Mone. Oh, my no so who Redo a deep panarida that. この島のリーダーとしてマモリレウスと共に我らを守ってくれていた。Oh! So we're the granddaughter of the first main character in the first game? Oh, that's interesting. ええ。ここにレドがいてくれたら安心できたのに。調査隊に加われ。ガラ様あそこは新米のライダーには荷が重いお前が横についてやればいいケイナを死と仰ぎライダーとしての経験を積み己に何ができるのか何をすべきなのかを学ぶといいケイナを死と仰ぎ不服かとんでもないウキウキワクワクですガラ様がそうまでおっしゃってくれるなら今この時から私があなたのライダーとしての師匠ビシバシ行くからちゃんとついてくることまずはライダーの服に着替えなくちゃ早速着替えてフフ<笑>やってるじゃないそれじゃ次は旧車に集合ライダーの心へその位置を始めるよ。I don't know. I find the costume design for this series, well, at least for the village costumes, just a bit that strange. An ominous red light flashes on the night of the festival. The protector of the island, the guardian Rata, disappears. What could be the cause of these strange events? Chief Gara orders the riders of the village to look into it, and so you take your very first steps as a new rider. Okay, so they're teaching us the mechanics of the game. Pretty much similar to any other action RPGs, I guess.、Hmm. Current quest objectives are displayed in the upper right corner of the screen. Alright. Your progress can be saved at the bed in your house or at any catavan stand. What's a catavan? <laughs> Alright, let's figure things out as things happen. So, yeah, as you can tell, the game's graphic isn't exactly fantastic. Still hoping for that, you know, 
more powerful switch <laughs> if that is ever going to happen. Um, ちょっと君にはまだお供がいなかったよね。まずはお供になる卵を探しに行くことから始めるわ。卵探索には私のお供を使いなさい。この子はランマル。ちょっと気性は荒いけど慣れてくるととってもライドしやすい子なの。君を見ていると。初めてお供にライドした時のことを思い出すな。あ、まあ、私のことは置いといて、先に言っておきたいことがあります。お供は私たちの足となって様々な場所へ連れて行ってくれる。だけど道具じゃないの。命ある私たちの大事な仲間よ
Select fight, then use a power attack. Okay. Wait, what? So it's a uh, rock, paper, scissors style game. I see. <laughs> this combat sequence kind of reminds me of um, a lot of old RPG games. Uh, I guess... I guess the latest one that they're remaking is... What was it called again? Um, Tank Wars? I think? I don't know. But it was from the GBA era? Game Boy Advance? Yeah. So, a lot of games in the past used to have this dual screen combat style design. Alright, so when you and your opponent are targeting each other directly, you enter a hit to hit. For the three attack types, power beats technical, technical beats speed, and speed beats power. Try to remember that. Yeah, so it's a rock paper style combat system. It feels a bit like those um, kids games in the arcades where they use cards, uh, like Mushi King or uh, Animal King, you know, that kind of game. And of course, you play rock, paper, scissors. Then, of course, if you win against your opponent, you do high amounts of damage. Then, of course, if somehow you both of you, uh, you and the computer were to choose the same attack type, then you smash buttons to compete against who will deal greater damage. So, attacking your opponent that is targeting you with a trigger, a hit to hit battle line show. Yeah, so this is what we're going to go through right now. Ooh! Your enemy also used a power attack this time. It's a draw! See the battle line? That shows you who the monster is gonna target next. Okay, Eptonoff tend to favor power attacks, don't you think? Wonder if we can use that knowledge to our advantage. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna change to speed now. Since we know he's gonna use power. But using a great sword for a speed attack, I don't think that's really. <laughs> Will weapon types actually make a difference? Hmm. You did it! Looks like you're getting the hang of this. I gotta say, the combat animation is pretty smooth, although loading into combat is a bit slow. If you and your monster both use attack type with uh, type advantage, you perform a double attack. With a double attack, you can deal huge damage and avoid the enemy's attack. It boosts your kinship too. Oh, double attack. That's nice. Okay, so let's go for a double attack. Bang! So yeah, I can see that the combat style is pretty much similar to the arcade games that I've mentioned. Yeah, it has pretty nice, you know, combat animations, uh, which what those games in the arcades are all about mostly. You know, aside from collecting rare cards from the games. Your first battle was a rousing success! We'll make a rider out of you yet. There we go, the regular RPG style of experience menu. Oh, there's actually a ranking system. Hmm. Oh, we can take all, okay. So the reward collection is pretty much the same as the regular Monster Hunter. Just that we've got to do it every battle. <laughs> well, it's the same as the regular Mon Hunt series. Nice one, newbie. Seeing through a monster's attack patterns is sure path victory. If your HP is running low, use a herb from the item section of the camp menu. So yeah. South Kamuna Forest is up ahead. Use a herb and let's get going. Don't really need it. We didn't really take much damage though. Whew, we made it! Let's head to the monster den and grab ourselves an egg. Whoa, 
there are monsters in the way. We've got to fight them off. Okay, so I guess we're still in the tutorial portion of the game. So it seems like we can't... The camera... The camera joystick is kind of slow. Oh look, what's, what's this? Hello. <laughs> Can we climb up the vines like we do in Monster Hunter Rise? Apparently not. Okay, how do we jump? I guess we, we need to fight them. It's a tutorial after all. They won't let us progress unless we follow their orders. Oh, suddenly it loaded much faster. Let's take on some Velocity Prey next. They're light on their feet and way more aggressive. I'll let you handle this battle too. This is your chance to show me what you've got. Okay, so well, we know that Velocity Preys are technically speed type monsters. So let's do technical moves. Like you've taken some damage, time to heal up. Select items and use a herb on yourself. Okay, let's do that. No, we'll not progress. <laughs> they use the same sound effects as the regular Monster Hunter games. Well, I don't see why they wouldn't, but you know, that's pretty hilarious in its own. Okay, let's see. What? They use the same... That's pretty interesting. Things are really heating up. How about using some of your kinship's gauge charge to unleash a skill? Okay. Select skills from the menu during battle to use your skills at the cost of kinship charge. Um, yeah. How do you even charge up your skin ship? Uh, kin skin kinship. I said skin ship. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you can always get some skin ship with your monsters, right? Okay, so let's use our skills. Oh, they even have. Different types of hmm. wouldn't it be better to slice the monster <laughs> rather than using the blunt part of the sword to knock it down? Oh yeah, I don't know. Nice one. That velocity prey didn't know what hit it. That's a gigantic sword. I'm sure it knows what hit it. Hey, Great, level up! Oh, come on. Give me that one higher rank. I mean, it's a tutorial. You could give me better results. Nice. You're starting to get the hang of this. We're almost at the den now. Let's keep moving. Is there a way to jump up? Okay, apparently not. So it's that kind of RPG. What is this? Can we pick up items? Oh, we can. Blue mushrooms. Anyone else remember the good old days when herbs and blue mushrooms gave you potions? Looks like we have to cross this river. It's times like this that when your monster really comes in handy. There are actions such as jump, IV climb, or fly. Wait, what? So we have HM moves in this game. <laughs> that you can only use when riding. The available actions depend on the monster. If there is a location you cannot reach, look for new monsters as they might have the right skills to get you there. Oh, cool. So it really is becoming like a Pokemon game. 
When riding a monster that can jump, press B on a stone platform to jump to a normally out of reach area. Ride up to the stone platform on Ranma and press B to jump. Alright. Perfect! Velocity drone are great at jumping and we riders are great at putting monster skills to good use. Feels like something's hidden there. Oh look, what's growing here? You can pick herbs from spots like this and save on buying them. Okay, we don't need to know all this. After all, we are pro hunters from the Monster Hunter series. Is that a blue mushroom? Yes, it is. Come on, pick up. Oh, it's a toadstool. Oops. <laughs> so much for being a pro hunter. Honey! Wait, snake bee lava? But technically you can randomly get items. Oh, we can mine! Apparently we don't have the pix pickaxe animation. There's a lot of stuff to pick up here. Spider webs. Oh. Open area. Yep. Here we go. Sequences. Matte. Nani ka ga iru? Atashi kara hanare nai yoni. Tsuite kite. あれはクルルヤックよ。一体何をしているんだろう。I bet you Navi is inside the egg. <laughs> <laughs> or at least the new version of Navi. Yeah, it's a tacky, talking egg, so we know it's it's a few line inside. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, the egg looks bigger than I thought. Oh. So it's a monster egg being carried by a feline? ナビル。びっくりした。昼寝をしてたらいきなりあいつが襲いかかってきたんだ。な、なんなのこの生き物は。アイルっぽいけど。なんか違う。俺のカリスマ的オーラは隠しきれないようだな。その通り。俺はア
uh, if you played Monster Hunter Rise, you probably recognize this monster. Oh no, he did a technical attack! Oh no. Oh no, we lost. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kulu. Kulu Yaku. Love to carry things around in their claws. Yep. Huh? You shall know your monsters, don't you? Uh, okay, so... It'll be interesting to see how many of these monsters actually retain their Japanese names with the English translations. So... I'm sure most of you who have been playing Monster Hunter you know, throughout your years of gaming would have probably been familiar with all the English names of all the monsters. I guess this is probably your chance to experience um, the Japanese names of the monsters with the voice acting in Japanese for this game. Gotta draw. Hmm. They did technical, right? So maybe can we give the power a try? Let's give this a try. All right, got it right. Take that. Oh, what's this? Ooh. When can I be that powerful? <laughs> okay, since this monster has been doing mostly... Hmm, why did she use focus? Let's copy her. Oh, what is this now? wonder if it's gonna use that rock to block all your attacks. Guess we gotta do something about the rock first then. <laughs> all the zero damages. <laughs> Is the rock gonna break? In that case, that weapon you're using now is not gonna do a lot of good. Time for a blunt weapon. Here, take this hammer. Wait, we can switch weapons in combat? Seriously? Oh wow! Okay, they're making this game a lot more interesting compared to the regular Monster Hunter. Switch weapons. What? Weapons have level 2? Okay, things got a lot more interesting. Okay, let's do a power with the hammer. Oh, two. Yeah -ha! A blunt attack? I think this is gonna work. Keep on smashing and bashing, newbie. What? Physiology of large monsters may differ, which affects how effective slash blood or pierce weapons are against them. Oh. You can equip three different weapons to switch between in battle, toggle weapons using X or from skills in battle. Um, try attacking with different weapons to find out which weapon type is most effective against a monster's physiology. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we can break parts in this game? Interesting. Completely drain a monster's parts gauge to break it. Where is the parts gauge? <laughs> you can receive drop items for breaking parts. At the end of the battle, breaking parts may knock down a monster or prevent it from using certain skills. Oh, 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 I can finally see the parts gauge. Okay. So it says the great sword is no use. Hmm. Okay. If she's going for speed, let's go with speed. Try attacking a body part with different weapons. When you find an effective weapon, use it to break that part. Okay. Whoa! Some badass animation buttons, no damage. <laughs> oh, she's 
riding her monster now. Can you ride? Gotta think about the best way to take this thing down. Okay. Sure, sure. Let's just... Let me use skills. Oh, come on! No. Um... No, no, no. Let's do power. Can you actually select the parts? No, you can't. So it's just changing weapons. Yeah! There we go. Oh! He's stunned on the floor. All attacks on a down opponent will be critical hits. They are more likely to drop items too. Cool. Ooh! Kinship Gage is maxed out. Now's your chance to ride on. All right. Riding makes your bond stronger, but be careful. You'll get knocked off if you lose too much in head to head. Okay, you can ride your monster once your Kinship Gage is filled up. Riding recovers the monster's. Wait, what? They recover HP. Cool. <laughs> By an amount equal to its rider's health. What? So the more health the rider has... Oh, that's a pretty cool concept. It also boosts attack and defense. Items are usable when riding as well. Powerful kinship skills can only be used when riding, winning a head-to-head, -head, or riding raises your kinship level, making kinship skills even stronger. You will automatically dismount after, a, after using a kinship skill. If your HP drops to zero, or if you lose a head to head twice, you will be knocked off your monster, but you won't lose any hearts. Interesting. Using kinship skills simultaneously with a battle buddy results in a powerful double kinship skill that hits all opponents. Oh, that's so badass. I would love to see that happen. Okay, time to show this monster the power of teamwork. Kinship skill? Oh, there we go. Kill. Way to go! You defeated the Kulu Yaku! That was too much of an overkill, but it was such a nice animation to watch. <laughs> you gotta give me an S rank, man. Oh, come on! Home sweet home. Come on, let's go hatch your egg. Alright, we are back. So one of the other things you need to know about Navi Row. So if you guys didn't play the first game, don't worry. 
Um, there is a way for you to kind of grasp the first game without playing the actual game and that is by watching the anime series. So yes, for those of you who have recognized Naviru's voice, um, because yes, they actually got the same seiyu for Naviru um, that also played Naviru in the anime series, so Monster Hunter right on, uh, or rather Monster Hunter stories right on, so yeah. この I hope Nadishiko comes out from the egg. <laughs> Yuru Camp fans will know what I mean. に伝わる祈りの舞よ。船の安全を祈る時や、お供が無事に生まれてくるように祈る時に舞うの。おお、そうなのか。さあ、絆石を掲げて。Oh my god, his head is so big. <laughs> Kuluyaku. I mean, technically, it's the same color as Nadeshiko, so let's change the name. <laughs> I'm gonna put it as Nadeshiko. <laughs> Just for the lows. There we go. ランマル<笑> わかっ<笑><笑> Ha 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 ha. 
Uh, maybe I should go and rewatch the anime too. <laughs> さてと、ランマルもお供になったことだし、次は何をしてもらおうかしら。ちょうど良い。ライダーの関門台にすぐできたそうだ。そこの調査に当たってもらおう。あの高台ですか。懐かしいな。あそこはね、島のライダーが最
three as well. Deliver. Done. Cool. Get all. Was that donuts? How many can we accept? Oh, we can accept all of them. Cool. Trial quest. These are challenge quests which will reward you differently based on how many turns or how much time it takes you to defeat. Oh, they have this here in this game. So it's really no different from a regular Monster Hunter game. Well, except for the fighting style at least. Okay, press minus when selecting a trial quest for details about the requirement rewards. Okay, let's take a look. Larinov? Hmm. Oh, okay, that's the new monster that I've never seen before. Well, at least I have not seen before. Oh, there are different difficulties as well. Interesting. We want to start now. Sure, why not? Let's give this a go. We can now use the stables. They're still giving me all the notifications. So I guess these guys are like power hitters. So let's go with speed. Oh, they are tactical. Oh, that's not good. Ooh! I wish there was like a button I can press to like reduce the damage. So since they are tactical, let's go with power. Okay, it seems like... Um, or maybe you should try changing weapons and see how it does. Okay, it seems like changing weapons doesn't take a turn, so that's good to know. One down. Spazzing out <laughs> on the floor. Oh, he died! Interesting. Oh, the hammer doesn't actually do much. Okay. So let's switch back. Here we go. Play this monster. Goodbye. And this should be it. No chance to even. Oh, we can actually increase the battle speed. Cool. <laughs> How high can we go? Okay, so three times is actually the fastest. Interesting. Come on, give me the S. Oh, come on! Level up, yo! What is this now? Overpower? What is this now? High chance to slightly lower all elemental attack for all enemies. Cool. Hey! Completed! Nice! So you can, I guess you can keep doing those, but do we really want to? Um, so I guess the villagers that have like top bubbles on top of the head. Okay, welcome Rin, seems like you've made your first steps as a full-fledged rider. Welcome to the market, I sell all kinds of items a rider might need for adventures. Okay, so she's the shop. Yeah, it's a donut. So we did pick up donuts as we watched just now. Nah. I'm well prepared. So, can I get you weapons? Okay, armory, smithy, forge, upgrade. You know, the usual stuff in Monster Hunter. Forge weapons. Blunt type weapon, great for breaking monster parts. Really? I mean, Hammer does break certain parts better, but I mean, for those of you who have played the actual Monster Hunter games, you know that Hammer doesn't cut off, you know, tails. 
and all that stuff. It does break the wings, the heads, the horns, you know, but still, cutting off or chopping off parts is not the hammer's specialty. <laughs> Hunting Horn, a blunt type weapon optimized for team support. Besides regular attacks, it comes with a variety of skills for supporting. Well, that's good to have, I guess. So if I go through all the weapons, they will tell me all the different advantages for the weapon. Hmm, interesting. Sword and Shield. Slash type weapon and shield striking a good balance between attack and defense enables the use of heavy hitting slash type skills while also reducing the damage you take some skills block or parry attacks. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we can't really see the full weapon tree, unlike the other regular Monster Hunter games. Hmm. Let's see, how do we get to... Yeah, we want to get to the people with the blue exclamation marks. Harry, never heard of dust shrooms? Yeah, mushrooms that only appear in the late evening and at night. See, I just don't feel very safe going out at night. Could you look for some dust shrooms for me instead? No problem. Where's the other blue bubble? Here it is. What? This like creep me out though. Will you mind thinning out the... Oh, we're going insect hunting. Okay, sure. No problem. Alright, so we've got all the side quests and we're going to depart out for the Monster Den soon in the next episode. Well guys, that's it for I guess the tutorial portion for Monster Hunter Stories 2, I think it is. I mean, it could still, I mean, there could be more, but who knows. Anyway guys, I'm going to end this episode here. We will try not to make each episode too long. Um, let me know your thoughts on the game itself. So far, I think the gameplay has been pretty good. You know, even though it is technically um, arcade-ish style of rock, paper, sister, rock, pa rock, paper, scissors, and stone. <laughs> uh, wait, rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, why did I ever say stone again? I don't know. I'm tired. I'm technically recording this at 2 a.m. now, so <laughs> I had fun. The story so far has been pretty good. Um, I do have a bit of a thing with the graphics though, but so far the overall gameplay is pretty decent. I'm looking forward to see how the story envelops into a bit more of a complicated situation. Um, who's that girl with the white hair? And is that Rattalos, the old Rattalos owned by Red? Or uh, as Naviru knows, you know, the first Monster Hunter story main character who also owns a Rattalos with a scar on the face. So might be the same ref. Hmm, who knows? Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Monster Hunter Stories 2. Hopefully it doesn't get too much of a legal claim considering that this game is by Capcom and of course the opening music sequence. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> so nerve wracking whenever you're trying to upload a brand new series, you know, all this kind of thing has to uh, be met with. Yeah, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!